Hi, my name is Liz Jensen. I'm a registered nurse and the clinical director here at Direct Supply. Taking vital signs is an important part of the care you provide every day. Obtaining an accurate blood pressure reading involves understanding the resident's condition, preparing the resident for the reading, correctly sizing and applying the cuff, placing the arm at the appropriate height, and correctly using the blood pressure device. When taking a blood pressure reading with the Direct Supply Attendant Vital Signs Monitor, it's important to follow these steps to ensure an accurate reading. Keep in mind that not all automated blood pressure devices are designed to obtain readings in the same way, so it's important to understand each device before use. This short video will provide some key steps to follow and tips to keep in mind when you use your attendant vital signs monitor. Before taking a resident's blood pressure, it is important that the resident be fitted with the appropriate sized cuff. Applying a cuff that is too large or too small can result in inaccurate readings or cause discomfort for the resident. An appropriately sized cuff will close within the marked range on the cuff with at least two fingers of space between the cuff and the arm. If the cuff flap fails to reach or exceeds past the marked range, a different cuff size should be used. If you need additional cuffs for your attendant vital signs monitor, call your direct supply account manager for more options. Once you've determined the appropriate cuff size, you are ready to prepare the resident and take a blood pressure reading. According to the American Heart Association, there are a number of conditions that may impact blood pressure readings. For example, if the resident has recently exercised, consumed caffeine, alcohol, or nicotine, or if they have tense muscles or bladder distension, these can impact the blood pressure reading. Environmental factors such as temperature, talking, and background noise can also impact the results. You'll want to keep all of these in mind when taking a blood pressure reading. First, assist the resident into a comfortable seated position with legs uncrossed. Provide support for the back and arm so that the cuff, when placed, aligns with the level of the resident's heart. If the resident is lying down, prop the arm on a pillow as needed. The resident should be asked to remove all clothing that covers the location of cuff placement. Avoid taking a blood pressure on an arm with an intravenous infusion, AV shunt for dialysis, or post mastectomy. Keep in mind that a different reading may be obtained when comparing the right to the left arm. If possible, take a blood pressure on the arm with a higher reading. Encourage the resident to relax during the measurement. The environment surrounding the resident should be free from distraction or disturbance while measurements are taken. Make sure the resident sits still with relaxed posture and refrains from speaking during the measurement. These precautions will help to ensure consistency and accuracy in the blood pressure readings. Apply the blood pressure cuff to the selected arm, making sure that the artery line is centered over the resident's brachial artery. Then secure the cuff so that the index line closes within the range line. Allow for at least two fingers of space between the cuff and arm. Finally, make sure that the tubing connecting the cuff to the vital signs monitor is straight. It should not be wrapped around the basket or stand, since any kinks can impact the blood pressure reading. Turn the unit on by pressing the blue button. Press the green button to initiate the blood pressure reading. Always monitor the resident for discomfort during the procedure. If the cuff compression needs to be stopped before a blood pressure reading is completed, press the green button to deflate the cuff. If the reading seems to differ significantly from previous readings, you'll want to deflate the cuff completely and wait for two to three minutes, then reapply the cuff and retake the blood pressure. If readings are still significantly different, consider taking a manual blood pressure and consulting with the resident's physician. We hope this instructional video has been helpful. For more information, please take a look at our additional videos. 
If you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to contact your direct supply team of experts at 1-800-634-7328 today.